Hey everybody, this is Saber, and I'm at my racetrack in the Thunderdome server. Uh, what I wanted to do was I kind of wanted to go through a uh, walkthrough of how the car handles and then some of the tricky spots on this racetrack, um, just because I know a lot of people have been having trouble with it. Um, you know, I, I've been doing this, or, you know, <laughs> been, uh, I, I designed it, I playtested it, I invented this driving system, the track, everything. So, uh, you know, I've, I've had a lot of time to get used to it, and some people have been like, oh, well, you make it look so easy. Well, now I'll try and uh, give you guys a walkthrough, so... That way, uh, more people can get out here and you know run this as fast as I do. So, all right, I'll run you through the basics. Uh, starting off, what you need to do is keep your nose up as long as you're running. Just keep your nose up, uh, unless you're trying to slow down, in which case sometimes it does actually help to uh, you know put your nose down. Um, but then uh, something I do, actually, hang on, I'll go through my controls first. Um, I don't have the usual star made setup. Uh, when I first started playing the game, I didn't do this for the racetrack at all. Like since the beginning, I've had WASD B movement and then Q and E for me is rolling, and then spacebar is ascend, and then control is descend. So I know, uh, I think Q and E is originally descend, but um, I found out after I made this track and this car that it really helps having spacebar as the ascend key, because then I can just hold it all the time, which makes it go a lot faster. So if you, some of you guys have uh, been on here and been like, oh, well, it's kind of slow, um, make sure that you're holding the ascend key. So I'll kind of just uh, explain things as I go through them. But basically what you want to do is, it's like drifting a car. I mean, you know, the, the tail end is always going to kick out because the core is in the front. And then when you do a jump, um, what happens is it's pushing the nose up, which pushes the tail into the ground. So then if you just do a quick flick then uh, and, and hold the ascent key, then that will always get you some nice air. Like with most of these ramps, I've seen some people, you know, they collide them and then try and slide up them. But I don't even touch most of the ramps when I'm doing a race. So I'll go ahead and keep going to this next corner. Um, and then when I get to a spot like this, with a, this is a pretty tricky corner. What I do is I let off the ascent key so that way I'll hit the ground and uh, drag on it so it slows me down. In fact, I'll go through and do a more high speed pass for you. Just to kind of show you guys. And uh, keep in mind that when you're going fast, it really doesn't take a lot of movement with the reticle to uh, get a good jump in. But, alright, here I've let off and I'm just dragging. That way I don't go sliding off the side. And now I'm already accelerating out of the corner. And then this spot is kind of tricky because it's 50-50 how you land. Um, a lot of times I'll do it where I hit the tail first, and then it kind of absorbs the uh, the shock of the thing, of the landing. But then sometimes it helps out to uh, get a faster start if you land flat. But a lot of times you can kind of glitch, and uh, it's like you hit an edge of the, of the block, but even though it's a flat surface, and uh, kind of just stops it quick. So I usually land, land with the tail. So here I've got another tricky spot. Uh, a lot of people have trouble with this one. But just come at it with speed, and then as you get close to it, just flick your reticle up, keep your ascend key held down, and you'll just flat, uh, float right over the top of it. And I usually try and cut this corner pretty close. Um, just keep in mind that you have one block in either side of your core, but other than that, you're at the very front of the uh, ship, so you can get pretty close to these corners. And uh, something I do do sometimes is to uh, bank into the turn, which um, I'll try and kind of show you. Oh yeah, actually, uh, coming up, I'll do it. I usually just do, I usually just do that to kind of slow down some, but it doesn't always matter. Usually it's only if I'm at like really high speed. Like after the straightaway is where I usually do it. So I'll kind of try and show that. See, like I'm trying to get to the ground so I can drag as much as I can. And I'm cutting here. I've got a little bit of a bank, but that's just naturally happens with the controls. Here's a good spot where I usually do it. But again, the banking isn't really necessary. It's just something that I kind of do to uh, help myself slow down a little bit. But yeah, I think that's uh, most of it. Um, a lot of it just takes practice. Because once you get the, the driving style down, everything just kind of flows. I mean, you know, you'll go from a corner to a jump and see that was an example. You got to keep your nose up. Otherwise, you're going to kind of uh, ping into the ground and it stops you dead. But um, I will be talking about this bug here in a second. But um, yeah, like I said, it just takes a lot of practice. Um, it, it takes some getting used to, but once you get it, everything just flows. Okay, another quick thing that I forgot that I want to mention is if you guys are actually doing a race out here and I'm actually running the controls from the tower above the finish line, um, do not be up against the wall when you're getting ready to start. Because when I open the door, then you're still stuck here. So um, if you are actually out here for an actual race, then you're just gonna have to wait. You know, you can wait fairly close, but as soon as this thing goes, then you're fine to go. But 
don't be pushed up against the door, otherwise you're going to get stuck. So, okay, this bug, um, it seems like a lot of the uh, underground lighting is kind of messed up, because obviously you can see it's way too bright here. But here I'll show you something I found. If you place down a wedge, it, like, resets the uh, whole thing. Actually, it could be any block, I'm not sure. Okay, if you place any block, then it kind of resets it back to what it should look like. But that's not permanent, because uh, I did this last time, and when I came back in, it was still messed up like this. So there's just something, like each chunk or something is doing something funky with the light. But it even, uh, yeah, it's, so I'm pretty sure it is chunk based because like even up there it's still doing it. But yeah, uh, that'll about wrap it up for me. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, then uh, feel free to uh, post in the comments below. I'll make sure I put a uh, link to the server and where this uh, racetrack's located at, and then you guys can come here anytime if you'd like. But yeah, that'll about do it for me. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope to see you out here sometime. All right, see you later.